All right, let's talk about something less uh, horrible. Less, uh, horrible. Let's talk about this uh, massive semen explosion. <laughs> <laughs> This you know, this is story. one of those ones you got to read, Tom. We just got to read it short. You should just read it. So just start up thing. and just start going. All right. This is from Newsweek. Massive semen explosion after Blaze hits bull. <laughs> okay. it, wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't massive. It's just it's just that, you know, the person I was with likes to float my ego a little bit. It was, certainly wasn't <laughs> massive. It was Look, adequate. It was an adequate semen explosion. <laughs> It had been a while since its prior semen explosion. Like that's to be fucking expected. It's just, it's part of the. And if you, know, you want a semen explosion, you can compliment. go to adamandeve.com. You can type in <laughs> Gloria Checkup. You get 50% off just about any item and free shipping. So Gloria Checkout. Uh, do we have a thing, Ian? Do you have a thing that you could, do you have one of those on there? Or yeah. No. Uh, do you have? Oh, that's weird. No, but I can make one. I'll make one. Ian? Can you hear Ian me? said no, but he'll make one. I can't. Can you not hear Ian? Ian? Oh no, Ian! I can't hear anything. I can't, can't hear, hear Tom me. either. Oh, uh oh. Ian, there you, we go. Uh, I got it. I oh, got it. Go. I got it. All right. right. I, got I it think back. when I jumped in, it broke stuff. See, this is no, good. It's, it's the good same now. Issue. Okay, I'll All just right. jump out, but I'll make one. All right. Thank you. A huge fire at a cattle breeding facility in Australia has caused thousands of dollars in damage after at least one hundred cylinders containing bull semen were destroyed. <laughs> Hundred so okay. First wow. off, isn't there like doesn't like the UN not allow you to stockpile that much semen? Like, <laughs> shouldn't have shouldn't fucking Hans Blix or whatever been walking <laughs> around telling people you can't have that much semen somewhere? <laughs> they called the fire department. They're like, hey, we're coming, we're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency services were called to the blaze in the early hours at Yarram Herd Services in Gippsland, Victoria. According to ABC, it took 10 fire crews more than two hours to fully extinguish the fire after it broke out around 3 a.m. local time. A spokesman from the uh, county country fire authority told Daily Mail Australia that the fire had completely shredded the building. Some of the wording in this article is going to be amazing, by the way. <laughs> Country fire authorities. <laughs> you know, semen will do that if you don't properly loop her. <laughs> I mean, it's not the semen. It's the thing that shoots us. But still, you got to properly loop. It's Country fire uh, authority Gippsland commander Chris, not going to pronounce it, said the crew had to be wary of projectiles coming at them while they tackled the You place. really do. You really Man. do. Absolutely. You know, I got to say, it's fucking rude not to at least have a little tap on the shoulder. If you're going to dodge like that, it's fine. But <laughs> yeah, you got to either that or you got to be like Neo. You got to be like right. leaning back all weird. And yeah, it's like <laughs> as it goes past you and stuff. And you can't expect that from everybody. You know? <laughs> the liquid inside the containers was rapidly expanding. And essentially, the lids of the cryogenic cylinders are just popping off the top and projectiles are <laughs> being thrown from the building. It's like cleaning out your flashlight, you know? You just <laughs> pop the top, shoots out. It's like a party popper in there if you leave it too long. So I love that when a semen factory explodes, it ejaculates again. Like, that's my favorite <laughs> part. <It's> like <laughs> I like Brian here. This is such highbrow humor. What the fuck did you think we were going to talk about? <laughs> oh. The fucking title is Blaze Bull Semen Projectile. There's a, they, We fucking telegraphed that an hour ago, man. <laughs> this, this person's comment is terrifying. You have to clean your fleshlight? <laughs> Well, only if you want to share it or resell yeah, it later. Absolutely. You don't have you don't have to. Don't look, don't give in to pressure, Baron Von Krogs. Don't do that. <laughs> don't give in to pressure. You keep it as dirty as you want. <laughs> so firefighters went into a defensive mode initially to protect themselves because there were also LPG cylinders at the neighboring property, and they did a magnificent job. Losid Chenkenwagal added that he had never had anything to do with artificial insemination side of things before during his career. <laughs> Yaram Hurst service. There's just, just a bunch of cows like <laughs> straddling the top waiting for them to shoot up. I like that he had to say that like, you know, these semen storage places don't yeah. usually burst into flames. That's not, that's <laughs> not generally, <laughs> not generally what happens. This line though, this line is great. Uh, 
Durham Herd Services Committee Vice Chairman Aaron Thomas said the loss of 100 cryogenic cylinders of cattle semen will be a, quote, huge blow for the <laughs> farmer. <laughs> you win. You win. That's oh, a great article. That yeah. is so good. Hot that is so good. Hot beef injection. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, you know why? That's why you guys tuned in. You know, oh, God. huge blow, huge blow. <laughs> God, that's got to be such a fun fucking job to get a fucking story like that to come across your desk, and then you're just flipping out your thesaurus trying to figure out exactly oh. how many innuendos you can work in there. It's fucking <laughs> amazing, unbelievable. You you know they rock paper scissored around the newsroom oh, yeah. until they got yeah. right. You know, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Absolutely. It's fucking tremendous. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking tremendous. A huge blow. <laughs> A huge blow. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. Oh.